Our goal for Ellie has always been independence, always. The fact that she found swimming on her own, right then and there was the magic. Seven years ago, I couldn't have pictured where we are today. So Ellie was in my Fresh Start group and it's a summer camp we have for incoming freshmen. And as a coach, I always say, you know, who here knows how to swim? You're on my team. And Ellie said, I know how to swim. And I said, well, you're on my team. And she said, can I be? I said, yeah, of course. And then I called Ferk and said, can't she be? Um, <laughs> and we kind of looked into some of the logistics of it. And, um, and so we knew that it was definitely feasible. We just had to figure out some of the, the smaller things um, and kind of go from there. Probably about eight years ago, we had been asked by Lurie Children's to attend uh, an Ace Hardware local golf event where the owners of the stores were golfing and they had asked us to come tell our story. So I remember my wife uh, went there with my daughters and um, told our story. That was the first time we ever interacted with Ace Hardware. We were able to see even more of what these vendors, um, the corporate people, just how much they do to raise money for Children's Miracle Network Hospital. That just shows you how much Ace Hardware, their retailers and their vendors care about these kids that they're raising their money for. You know, when she was crowned the All-Star, she was a little girl. Nothing could have prepared before exactly the kind of young woman that she was gonna turn into. Now, you know, she's planning her future and, you know, dreaming big dreams that aren't just playing pretend anymore. She's looking at life like real life and um, her dreams are bigger than I could ever have even imagined for her. You're, you, you have to make some changes for swimming, right? Like what? what? You might have to do a lot more upper arm strength and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And trust me, it's it's hard on those. It's hard, like on those days where, like, you know, you're gonna have a hard set or you don't know, and then when you get when you get out of the water, you're like, oh man, I just did a really hard swim with my arms tired, but man, that felt so good. So with Ellie having spina bifida, she does not have full control of her legs, so she cannot kick. So all of Ellie's power and strength comes from her arms. She swims all with her arms. So she had to um, learn how to do that. So once the uh, state of Illinois recognized that there are students with disabilities who um, can compete at a statewide level, um, the new category, Athletes with Disabilities, was um, uh, created, which Ellie then competed against other athletes throughout the state of Illinois with disabilities. This was a brand new experience for both of us. In fact, we've uh, we spent a lot of time talking. We've worked with the Fontanettas uh, regularly to, to continue to learn. Um, and we've, we've made some tremendous headway in this whole program. We couldn't have picked a better athlete to get us started into it. Her parents just jumped right in. They started doing research. We started doing research. To the point of, of this year, we were able to actually add a coach that was specifically designated for our students with disabilities. Ellie has paved the way for other athletes in our school. She worked with another family and got a, another girl with disabilities on uh, the team this year. And we'll continue to, you know, look for those kids that can continue to get that opportunity. Um, just, it, it's been an incredible learning experience for us. Um, and we're just really grateful that we've had the partnership that we ha we've had with Ellie and her family. I want to win the gold in Paralympics. What's it going to take to get there? Lots of work. Yeah. Lots and lots of professional coaching and work. All along the way, we've been really blessed with just people in our lives. From the time that she was little, our local CMN hospital, um, her physicians, her therapists, her teachers, our neighbors, you know. And here we are in like, you know, a, a later season in her life, you know, where we're kind of passing the baton to her. I don't know what's in store. I don't. I don't know what's in store, but I can tell you it's good. It's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. Ellie is a 16-year-old girl who um, is on the high school swim team. It's not something I think I ever pictured was her doing that. Um, 
You know, I know that there is stuff in the future that um, hopes we have for her. And I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but she's a 16-year-old girl who is healthy right now, who is on the high school swim team. And it's, it's amazing. 